Hey, the world is your office. What's up, YouTube? My name is Roger, and I help businesses work from any place and any time. So today I will be talking about my Bluetooth headset here. Okay, so it's just it's not a normal headset. It's an active noise cancelling headset (ANC). So what? What do you say? Huh? Just just kidding. So there's actually two type of uh, noise cancelling headset. Well, one is a passive noise cancelling headset. One is an active noise cancelling headset. So a passive noise cancelling headset basically just help you cut off the sound by the physical means. So basically, um, uh, air tight ear cups, the cups your ear, good sound proofing material. Uh, active noise cancelling headset will also pro produce a. Uh, sound frequency to cancel out the external sound, so they minus off uh, the sound that is coming in from outside. So basically, uh, sounds that are low frequency would be very effective with active noise cancelling. So what are the sounds that is low frequency? Um, like the car engine, uh, airplane engine, um, washing machine, people cooking in a cafe. You know, people like muffling. Yes, all this sound. So it makes you feel that you are in a total uh, quietness, and uh, so that you can focus on your work. All right. So without further ado, um, let's jump into the review of my active noise cancelling headset. <laughs> so this is my third gear that I'm use. For my online home meeting and work from home, it is a active noise cancelling headset from Creative. It's called the Orvana Go. I hope I pronounce it correctly. If not, please leave a comment at my comment section below. So I really like this headset. It is Bluetooth enabled and it gives very a uh, good sound and it cuts off about 60 to 70 percent of the ambience noise or what we call the outside noise. Of course, there are a lot of uh. ANC active noise cancelling headset in the market like Sony and Bose, which is, will do a better job. But for this, to me, it does pretty decent and it suits. It, it really suits uh, my needs. Alright, so with a good active noise cancelling headset, um, you are able to concentrate on your work. And even if your kids are shouting in the background, you are able to conduct a meeting pretty easily. So. While I'm using this most of my time, the comfort of the headset is very important. So when you choose your headset, please make sure you you decide on the following um, features. So first, the ear cups, it must be large enough for your ear. So for this, it has a fairly big ear cup that I can actually wear and it's very comfortable, it's leather. So I can wear it for a long extended period of time without me feeling uncomfortable. And also what I really like is on the bridge, or the headband it has also a leather and padding so it actually really fit very comfortably on my head for a long extended period of time so the other good uh, feature about this uh, headset is that it gives you the option to put in a audio um, cable an audio jack so this audio jack is the regular 3.5 mm um, jack that you will find in most devices although handphone nowadays do not have the audio jack but uh, most laptops and other devices you have. So for this, I actually plugged in to my microphone, right? And I use this to monitor my voice. So this is the 3.5 mm regular jet that you can plug into any devices that provides the um, jet. So this is the gaming keyboard that I'm used, the Corsair K63 uh, wireless mechanical keyboard. So I like it because it's wireless. I can bring it anywhere and it has a backlit a blue backlit light unfortunately it doesn't have a rgb right so it's still selling online uh, i will leave the link below and i'm going to share with you the Ooh. sound test if you hear the sound it gives you a very tactile um feeling so after the keyboard will be the mouse. I am using a Corsair also, a Corsair Dark Core wireless gaming mouse. This run has the RGB color. Uh, it is really uh, responsive and um, smooth. 
So the reason why I have my keyboard and mouse wireless so that I can bring it to anywhere I want. So if I'm in the bedroom or if I'm in the hall, I can just take the keyboard and use it with my laptop uh, and do whatever stuff I want. And I really like the feel of the mouse and the tactile feeling of uh, my keyboard. Right. Hi, did not see you coming, or rather did not hear you coming because of my active noise cancelling. Just joking. <laughs> so I've come to the end of the review of my hardware. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please give me a like. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And also please press the um, notification bell so that every time, I, every time I create a new content, you get notified. And... Um, so we have actually completed our hardware tour of what I use for my online meeting. Uh, tomorrow, probably we'll talk about some software. No, definitely not the game. Uh, let us talk about the online meeting tools that usually we use, like Zoom, uh, Google Meet, or Teams. And if you have friends that would need or would can use some tips uh, of online meeting using Teams or Zoom or... Uh, Hangout Meet or Google Meet. Um, yeah, feel free to share my video with them or ask them to come in every day. Uh, we will have uh, new content for them. If not, uh, stay safe, stay home, and put on a mask if you want to leave the house. <laughs>